Hey guys, welcome to my installation tutorial for STIT and today I want to show you how to run STIT locally on your Windows machine. Yeah, I'll be showing you how to do it on my fork of the official repo. Uh, you can go back to the official one here and I wouldn't be linking this down in the description because it might confuse some of you guys. So, so it's not that I want to discredit them or anything. It's just for clarity use yeah let's get started so first let's go through the requirements real quick so you need an nvidia gpu and a conda 3 prompt so if you don't have it you can go to here and download it my internet is slow today here you can download it here and you might need uh, vs building tools so there's a tutorial i wrote on how to install it right here so you can just press on this and next, we want to set up the environment. So we had to download the codes from this repository. So let's do that. Um, I'm going to put it in my tutorial folder. So here, I'm going to create a folder called sitstit. Go into this folder. can manually download it. That is fine. And just drag and drop to unzip. I'm going to just rename it. So the name is not that long all right sick and uh, we had to change directory so we need to open up anaconda prompt so it should look like this anaconda prompt and uh, we need to cd into your working directory which is gonna be inside this folder where you can find all these codes so you copy this file path and then you type in cd space and you paste the file path and if you're on different disk, you need to specify the disk. So it will switch the disk. And now after that is done, we need to create a, a virtual environment. Yeah, I forgot to mention for the setup section, you only need to do the following steps once. So in this section, you only need to do it once. And after you've done this once, when you want to run main call next time, you just have to um, activate the environment. That's it. You want to paste this and then type in Y, press enter. And then you need to activate this virtual environment. Oh, we just created one, by the way. So you can see that it changes from base to stit. So that's what you want. So next thing is we want to pip install dash r requirements.txt. Okay, after that is done, we can go ahead and do pip install cmake. And pip install dlib. And then we go to conda install PyTorch. Press enter. After that is done, we go next, pip install this one. Okay. After that, we have finished setting up the environment. Uh, now we just need to download the pre-trained models. So we just go to this link and press download 1.5 GB and then you open it up it'll be something like this you can see these four files so you just have to follow this uh, folder structure uh, it's pretty straightforward so you just got to create a folder called pre-trained models or you can just extract it here it doesn't matter you can just go to this pre-trained models you drag and drop I mean, you unzip it technically, but all right. After that is done, you can double check the photo structure. It's inside pre-trained models and these four files are there. So you can see them here and inside the pre-trained models. Make sure the folder names are the same. And after that is out of the way, we can get to the main code. So the next time you close this anaconda prompt and you want to use this codes uh, again, you just have to do conda activate stit and cd into the right directory. And then you can continue using it. So now let's test out one video. Uh, okay. So what we have to do first is to create a folder actually find yourself a video. <laughs> That's more important. So I'm going to use this um, Elon's clip which stands for elon short it's a very very short at 30 frames only i think and you're gonna create a folder and then it'll probably be the best if it's the same name as your video so it wouldn't be much hassle and i suggest you to create a text file and you can copy and paste all your comments here and edit them okay so it'll be something like this 
So I'll just show you. I'm going to just replace it to show you. This video.mp4 will refer to your input video. So now we're going to turn the video into frames. So you're just going to change the video name to your video that you want to target. And then video frames slash out, it will be like Elon's because we just created the folder out. That, that, that would be fine. And you just copy this line of code, paste it here. Oh, she, I forgot to mention to install this. Give me a second. All right, so I added a line for the environment. So you just basically you need to copy this and install this. So it'll make FFmpeg work. Gotta give it a second, press enter. All right, that is done. So we can now run the command. There you go. Okay. So, so now if you go to this folder, you'll see all the frames out here. Cool. Okay. So after the first step, splitting videos into frames, we need to do video inversion. This inversion thing includes aligning, cropping, E4E encoding, and PTI. Uh, if you don't know what the, these are, you can just check out my main video over on my main channel. And I suggest you copy this line and then edit on a text document. And then you just had to replace anything with the bracket. So yeah, that that's pretty straightforward. You can see an example here. And this is the command that I will be needing to run. So just paste it in your Anaconda prompt. All right, after that training stage is done, well, semi-training, um, we can go to the next step, which is the actual editing. So naive editing is basically no stitching. And no stitching basically means you can see like the outline of the face being pasted on top. So that is not exactly what you will want, but you can still play with it. Um, I edited the commands here and then you can just replace the corresponding stuff. So I'm just going to show you the edit plus stitch tuning. So for young Elon uses this command or you can copy the format here. So let me quickly explain about these commands because they're slightly confusing the entire command structure is roughly like this um the input folder path to the input folder which are your frames which are your frames that we extracted from the video the output folder should be the edits um so if you go back to the Win uh, explorer you can see here edits elons this will be your output folder and then you have the run name run name is basically the name of this run i guess so this should be elon's not obama and then there is the edit name so for the edit name there are default default ones are age gender and uh, smile so these three are basically the edit name that you can just change and I'll, I'll let you know later because there are edit name or you can edit their attributes with clip and that is uh for a later one i'll show you and the edit range is basically like the parameters you you pull you know like negative numbers are the complete opposite to the age and the positive number is um, basically increases the effect of the age. So if you want someone that is young, you will be around negative eight, negative 10. And basically you want the effect to be very obvious. So you put like negative 10 and these are the range. So it's negative eight to negative eight. And this one is a step. So they roughly explained it here. And, and here you can see the edit range is roughly explained. So if you put one, five, two, it will apply edits with strength one, three, five. So increase by increment of two, I'm guessing. So here we are basically applying strength in the range of negative eight to negative eight. So it, here we are applying the strength of negative eight to negative eight with one step. So it's just basically negative eight once and the outer mass dilation hmm, i'm surprised they didn't explain it here but the dilation is probably like how let me let me find a face how much this gap is so 50 is probably like here this this amount of length and the smaller the less 
it will generate for the background because for stit you need to patch the face and the background together since uh, the edits will slightly edit the background beside the face too so i think the mask dilation means that um, it will just close this um, distance between the actual background and the face edited background so 50 will be like this one zero will probably be none and then 100 will probably get to like here so yeah i'm just gonna put it on 50 because that's the default parameter but if your video has too much artifacts after you generate it like oh there's like a really blurry thing here and you can obviously the background is moving like this slightly then you can put the mass dilation down like to like 25 or something you can try to experiment yourself so yeah i'm just gonna run this line of command and then i'll put it in okay while this is doing we can explain the next one uh the next one is here style clip go global direction which basically means that um you can use style clip to edit the facial attributes of a person so you don't need to use the default parameters which is age what else age gender and smile so here the official one gave example of the lipstick so neutral class face target class face with lipstick so do the same thing copy it to the text editor and then you just paste it input folder um elon's output folder edits elon's and run name elon's edit type style clip global um so you need to specify edit type first and then you specify the edit name which is the attribute that you want to change so this is lipstick so maybe i want to have beard neutral class face ugly class face with beard i guess and the edit range that's really 10 for the most obvious effects and wait is this one done no all right so so I have what two minute 40 for 15 frames so let's do some math two minute 40 two minute 40 equals um 180 seconds no i lied 160 seconds so 160 seconds divided by 14 is 11.4 seconds per frame so it takes 11.4 seconds for a single frame so for a uh, 30 frames footage it needs to take 342 seconds so you divide by 60 which is 5.7 minutes so that's a single frame so if you do a 10 second clip it's basically 57 minutes yeah 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 so it'll be 57 minutes for a 10 seconds video for 30 FPS. And the runtime is, yeah, not really ideal because of this whole inversion process and training. I'm guessing because actually, no, I might be wrong because we did the inversion. I know what it's doing here. I just realized I might be wrong in the video. All right. So for 30 frames clip, it took five minutes and 21 seconds. So my prediction was around the same. So 10 seconds video is going to take 50 minutes or I mean, 50, 50 something minutes. And yeah, it's not really ideal, but for the memes it can generate, maybe it is. Uh, okay. Let's run the next one, which is the style clip edits. So this is using basically using style clip to make custom edits. So the only problem with style clip edits is that there is a possibility the edits are not as accurate since you're basically letting style clip to control the parameters. You know, that may be a possibility. So you only find that out after everything is done. So you should always test it before you actually run everything. All right. I forgot to show you both the results, but let's look at it together so if you go into the edits folder edit elons you will see beard and uh, where's that where's the other one did, uh, did i not save it there oh i said in edits elons well okay so it's it's now in two folders <laughs> no not like this so age you can see age negative eight and it'll probably be here that's the young one uh that looks oh no comments and if you go back and look at the 
edits Elon's beard. Let's see. Okay, it gave him a bit of beard, but it has a really weird shadow. Yeah, it didn't work well, I think. Yeah, it's not consistent enough. But yeah, that's probably one of the hardest because it's hair. And oh yeah, they, they changed the hair too. So yeah, um, my bad for not being consistent with the output folders, but you can really do whatever you want since uh, I'm just showing you how to do it. So yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to support me, you can just go ahead and go watch my main video or you can support me through Patreon. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.